Okay, everybody. So thanks. Welcome back to the sessions. Apologies once again for some of the tech difficulties that we had, but you know, such is life in the realm of tech. So up next are two of our Imagine Cup finalists, which is super exciting. Yeah, shout outs. All right, yeah. So we're joined by Matt Steele and Alicia Adams, who are going to be talking about their app hair match. So give them a round. All right, awesome. Well, thank you guys all for coming today, and I hope you guys have had an exciting Microsoft build. It's been a very exciting week for us, and there's been a lot of cool stuff being unveiled, and we'd like to show you guys today the cool stuff that we've been working on. So our app is called Hair Match. It's a mobile app in which people are able to scan their hair and get curated recommendations for products. And so really quickly today, we're gonna do a demo of that and a few other things. So diving into a quick agenda for the day, we're gonna start out with a quick intro of me and Alicia, and then we're gonna have Alicia dive into exactly what Hairmatch does, in addition to showing you guys a live demo of the product itself. From there, I'm gonna dive into how the product works, and then for many of you in the audience, you may not have curly hair, so you may not be able to use our product, but I hope today I'll be able to explain to you guys why this product matters and how you can take our development paradigms and apply it to your own applications. So. Diving in a little bit about myself, my name is Matt Steele. I recently graduated from Georgia Tech with a concentration in artificial intelligence and embedded systems. And I've made mobile applications utilizing computer vision and AI that over 20,000 people have used in the past month. And my name is Alicia Adams. I'm a recent graduate from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. I studied information science with a double concentration in entrepreneurship and urban planning. And so Hair Match really resonated in my expertise with social media. So I focus on curly hair with the content that I do. And I've garnered over 1.3 million followers across platforms. And I've done several different partnerships with major hair care companies. That seems to be a very good launch point for Hair Match to come to fruition. All right, awesome. Yeah, so starting off, so as Matthew previously mentioned, curly hair specifically is a very underserved market when it comes to the hair care industry. And essentially, the focused ideal customer profile that we were honing in on when we first thought of bringing hair match to market were black women. And so in the market, we found a lot of research that found that black women spend nine times more on hair products and they face a minority hair tax in the sense that textured hair care, they have more expensive products as opposed to other hair types. And so we found other objects of information just seeing that women are really trapped in a trial and error when it comes to hair care products and essentially 43 percent of black women use five or more products so whether it's a shampoo a conditioner or a, a styling cream just finding a comparison of two products is very difficult and lastly a lot of consumers had dissatisfaction with available products in the market so just having this whirlwind of just frustration and trying to find products that actually works, we thought about bringing an idea to life to make it more streamlined so buyers can make more decisions on products with intentionality. Fantastic, Alicia. Yeah, so um, I think you guys are gonna love this part. We're about to dive into a live demo of Hair Match. We're going to actually use the scanning on stage and show you guys every single aspect of this amazing app. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap this over to our iPhone and I will let Alicia take it from here. So right now, Elisa's doing the scan. So she's gonna line up her hair to be very visible in the camera. She's gonna take that first picture. And from there, we end up having people take two scan pictures, which allows us to get the maximal accuracy. The other thing that's really key here is we instruct people to have that good lighting. And then from there, once the curls are in view, we're gonna go ahead and click get your match. So from here, our AI in Azure AI Foundry, it's a visual transformer. It's gonna go through, it will process those two images and it'll output a few different aspects of the hair, which we will see here very shortly. This is a live demo, so you're seeing this work in live time. Unfortunately, it's not yet instantaneous, but we'll, we hope to get there someday. So, there we go. All right, so Elisa's hair, as you can see, is normal porosity with a curly texture and it is type 4A right here, <laughs> as you can see. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and dive into exactly how the app works. And I'll let Alicia go through that. Yes, yeah, so when it comes to after having that custom hair profile, that is a very crucial part to our application. 
From that analysis, we're able to visualize and see different breakdowns of different products for your specific hair type. And so let's say, for example, if you're interested in trying a new shampoo, you may have got your hair dyed or you're just coming back from vacation and just dealing with some dryness. You can find a shampoo that is of your preference and be able to find one that you can click on and see the different characteristics of the products that aligns with your hair types. So we did include a lot of information regarding buyer decision information, such as clean beauty standards, salt bait free to really align with what customers were looking for in the market when we did a lot of market research in the R&D process of Hair Match. And then if you want as well, you can get that product and it would export you to a different external link. All right. So moving on from there, Elise is also going to show you guys a fantastic part of our platform, which is Hair Match Learn. So not only were we able to source R&D all these products for different hair types and then our AI curates them. We also give people all of the hair knowledge that Alicia has gathered over the years that she wishes she had when she started. Yes, yeah, so a good example of this, starting out with any hair care journey, it was very difficult. I was the 12 year old girl who would stay up late watching videos, trying to figure out like, how could I do my hair myself in a way that I felt most confident? And so finding those basic hair care basics of knowing how to braid my hair or knowing what shampoo would work with my hair texture was super important to incorporate into our application that just gives users information about scanning their hair, doing daily hair skin features to really track how can I use products that worked really well with my hair type and I can continue to reach my certain hair care goals that I may have. Yeah, fantastic. And I guess to just reiterate what Alicia said there, we do have that scanning that we do at the beginning. That's something that users are able to do every single day, not just for the AI features, but primarily for actually tracking the progress of your hair over time to see how the products that you've actually bought are really affecting your hair. And so I think that concludes the live part of our demo. And now we are going to dive into a little bit of the technicals. I know we have a lot of developers in the audience today, and you guys are probably wondering how all this actually works under the hood. So Hair Match is brilliantly simple in some ways, which has been great for us, but then also amazing because we've been able to take one core technology and truly apply it to make a difference in the world. And so the primary architecture you see here is a very simple mobile app architecture. We have a few different databases of things, such as our style guides and our product database being remote. We're able to edit those in real time and add things into the app as we go and as we do more R&D. And the primary thing here that really makes the difference for us is Azure AI Foundry and specifically the magic of visual transformers, which I'm gonna dive into here. So vision language models have been a revolution over the past eight years or so since the first transformer came out in 2017. We've seen a sharp increase of the amount of major VLMs over time in the market. And we've also seen a drastic accuracy increase in those over time as well. And so GBT4 Vision and GBT4.0 successively came out about a year apart. And those two models were such a jump from anything prior that you were able to generalize a lot of classification tasks in Vision that were not prior possible without hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of data and training cost. So diving into how we use that here at Hair Match, we were able to prototype all the way into production using Azure OpenAI. And so we made an initial prototype in August of 2024. The first thing we did was through Alicia, we sourced 150 people that she knew who had their known hair types. We got images of those people's hair to be able to have as our validation set. From there, we tested a bunch of off-the-shelf transformers to see how accurate are these today. And we found some shocking results with GPT-40. Specifically, GPT-40, with just one prompt and one schema output, we're able to achieve 90% accuracy on those test data set outputs, which was fantastic. From there, we did a little bit of multi-shot prompting, and we also had users take pictures in a certain lighting and angle of the hair, which allowed our accuracy to bump up to 95%, and this is actually what we used for launch in production. This is a complete paradigm change on how we can actually build applications today. Because again, five years ago, what we were doing right now would not have been possible without a lot of capital. Three years ago, again, would not have been possible without a lot of capital. And today, it was possible through the power of Azure OpenAI. And so you might be asking, where does this go from here? 
there are a lot of things that we're actually working on to improve the product as we go. And one of those specifically is fine tuning, which we also do through Azure AI Foundry. So we're gathering a lot of hair, hair scans where people actually know their hair type to be able to further improve the accuracy of the model, to be able to get users more satisfied, have a better product and lower costs for us in the long term. Now you might be wondering, how does this actually apply to you guys? Because this is all about hair and I'm looking out in the audience and I don't see a lot of curly hair out there. But this paradigm isn't just about hair match, or it doesn't, isn't just about hair. It's about anything related to vision. There are so many tasks that you have no idea that GPT-40 or GPT-4.1 might be able to do at a much higher accuracy level than you expect. And so when you're going into building an application that may need some sort of vision interface with AI, it's a great choice to start with in prototype because you never know, it might get you almost all the way there. So that concludes our demo presentation. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys wanna connect on LinkedIn, we have our QR codes up here for both me and Alicia. We are super grateful that we're able to stand up here on the stage today. It's really been a treat and thank you so much. Thank you guys.